Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. My name is Garrett Campbell. In today's video, we're going to be doing a more simplified version of a video that we covered in the past on metformin. And we're starting right now. Just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only. Well, the first thing to discuss in this presentation is what this medication is used for. So metformin treats type 2 diabetes. Now how to use metformin. So first off, take your medication as directed. Your dose may need to change several times to find what works best for you. It is best to take this medication with food or milk. If using the extended release oral suspension, use the supplied dosing cup to measure the mixed medication and ask your pharmacist for a dosing cup if you don't have one. What happens if you miss a dose? So take a dose as soon as you remember, but if, if it is almost time for your next dose, skip the missed dose and take a regular dose. Never take extra medication to make up for a missed dose. Store this medication in a closed container at room temperature, away from heat, moisture, and direct light. We'll now discuss some warnings associated with metformin. So tell your doctor if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, or if you have kidney disease, liver disease, heart or blood vessel disease, heart failure, blood circulation problems, anemia or metabolic acidosis, an adrenal gland or pituitary gland disorder, vitamin B12 deficiency, or had a heart attack. Also tell your doctor if you drink alcohol. Too much of this medication can cause a rare but serious condition called lactic acidosis. It's important to note that part of the extended release tablet may pass into your stool, and this is normal. Your doctor will do lab tests at regular visits to check the effects of the medication, so be sure to keep all your appointments while taking metformin. Make sure any doctor or dentist knows that you are taking metformin. You may need to stop using this medication before you have a surgery, an x-ray, a CT scan, or other medical tests. This medication may cause some premenopausal women who do not have regular monthly periods to ovulate. This can increase the chance of pregnancy. Over the next two slides, we'll go over some adverse events or side effects. On this slide, this first one, if you experience any of these, you would want to see a physician right away. So if you had an allergic reaction, which could present as itching or hives, swelling in your face or hands, swelling or tingling in your mouth or throat, chest tightness, or trouble breathing, if you have confusion, a fast heartbeat, increased hunger or shakiness, if you have fever or chills, stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, muscle pain or cramping, unusual tiredness or weakness, or trouble breathing, slow heartbeat or dizziness. Now for these side effects here, you would just mention them to your physician at your next appointment or to your pharmacist next time you pick up a prescription. That would be a metallic taste in the mouth or mild diarrhea. All right, everybody, that's all we're gonna talk about today with metformin. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable, you'd like to help grow this channel. Remember, you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. Good for today, take care.